In this video, I'm going to talk about your digital teaching presence. In a face-to-face -face session, your presence is key to student engagement and success. It's the same for digital teaching and activities. If you're teaching in a digital blended mode or fully online, students should sense and recognise your teaching presence. There isn't a direct equivalent of being at the front of the class, but remember, if and when you take your students into digital spaces, for example, a webinar, a forum, a virtual learning environment, you need to guide and orientate them on what you are expecting them to do there. That should get you thinking about your overall course design and the design of activities and assessments. Think about your tone of voice in digital spaces and when you're creating and writing instructions for activities, make your tone friendly. Think about your use of pronouns like we and you to create a welcoming, inclusive and personalised tone. For example, if you're teaching fully online, use phrases like this week or today. In this activity, we are going to be exploring X and sharing our reflections our, and sharing sorry, our reflections on Y. Or to complete this activity, you need to do this. Remember, when people read online, they tend to skim, so use lists. Highlight keywords and dates with bold text. You don't need to be over polite and say please and thank you at the start and end of every paragraph. It just uses up space on the page. And if you think about it, you probably wouldn't do that in a face-to-face -face situation. Use plain English where possible. Try to avoid colloquialisms, particularly if you're, if you're teaching global students. And be wary of humour particularly in written text. Acknowledge and encourage activity in digital spaces. Again, how and where you do this will depend on the type of activity and participation you're expecting from your students, which goes back to your overall learning design. Class notifications are a really simple and effective way to do just that. So, whether it's individual or group activities, you can send messages to groups and individuals and indeed the whole class. In any online activity, whole class feedback plays a really important part in helping students orientate themselves and develop a sense of progress and contextualisation and awareness of their own progress. Thinking about how, where and when you are digitally present needs to be managed as an important part of your programme and activity design. Students need a sense of your presence, but equally you need to have a sense of their presence too. So encourage, stimulate and acknowledge when they're online too.